Hello, Maximiliano. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Excellent. You're always punctual. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's good. That's good. How are you doing today? Um, I'm fine. Um, I'm I'm having trouble with the with the with the question number four of the knowledge text in the 1.11. Oh, okay, okay. It's about of the, um, it's about how well or how good or how long. Okay. But I, I tried a lot, a lot of possibilities, but I, I didn't make it. Okay, okay, yeah, we're good. Try to fix that. Vamos a intentar solventar eso hoy, okay? Okay. Yeah. So let me see. Espero. Today I'm on another computer, so I need to start everything right now. So this group. Okay, for. Give me a minute. Welcome everyone. Welcome Maximiliano, welcome Jose Araujo, welcome Juan Carlos. Nice to see you again. Happy to have you here. I appreciate the punctuality because I know sometimes people think that Salvadorians are not punctual, but I know that you're punctual. <laughs> so thank you very much for that punctuality, okay? Appreciate it. So, um, Maximiliano was telling me that he started. You have a problem with your audio. You don't listen to me? Los demás me escuchan? Yes. Yes. I can hear. Yes. Yes. Tal vez el internet, Maximiliano, chequemos ahí, hagamos una prueba de internet connection. It was my, my earphone. Oh, it was your, okay, your headphones. Okay, excellent. So once again, I tell you that welcome to the class. I appreciate the punctuality. Punctuality is really important, as you know. And I know Salvadorians, we are not known for being punctual, but I would like to, I don't know, to see the punctuality, right? Because that is very important. You remember that the class attendance is the minutes you are connected to the class more than just being present like 30 minutes or so, something like that, okay? So appreciate it one more time. I'm gonna start here. Uh, I'm just trying to load the platform, Maximiliano. It's taking a while, se está tardando la plataforma. But, because I want to help you with the exercise, okay? Okay. But once it loads, I'm gonna help you with that. Sometimes, I don't know why, but it, sometimes it gives me this problem. Let me show you. Can you see it? Wait. So this problem. Yes. Every time I try to enter the platform. I don't know if that happens to you. Um, oh, because so you have the app? No. Oh, because I know there is an app. And there's the page. I always try to get in the web page. I don't have the app. I do it the same way. Yeah, but this happens to me sometimes. Okay, I'm just going to wait for it to load. And once it loads, I'm going to help you with that. If I don't remember to help you with the exercise, 
please remind me uh, before we finish the class. Okay, Maximilian? Okay, excellent. Good. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, yesterday we were talking about adverse of frequency, right? You remember we were talking about always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. Also, we have things um, that are not just like uh, adverse of frequency because we have phrases of frequency. And that's what I would like to start with today. Let me show you my board. Dame un segundo que me están pidiendo aquí. Dame un segundo. Ok, so, uh, we have phrases of frequency. The phrases of frequency are a little bit different, right? Like, um, for example, I travel, oh, sorry, I travel to Guatemala. Let's just use an example. Once, oh, sorry. Yeah. Once a year. So in this case, I'm using a phrase to talk about the frequency that I do something, okay? Like once a year. Then I can have some other examples. For example, I play tennis every day. So instead of saying I play tennis always, or I, I always play tennis, que sería lo correcto, right? Like because the advert goes here. I always play tennis. We say I play tennis every day, okay? So in this case, the advert of frequency or the phrase of frequency will be every day, right? Pero lo que es diferente, what is different de esto, los adverbs of frequency, ya se fijaron que estos están como al final de la oración. Y los adverbs of frequency, where do they go? ¿Dónde va el adverb of frequency? Between the subject and the verb. Correct. So, thank you, Maximiliano. Instead of saying, I play tennis every day, I will be like, I... What other frequency can I use for every day? Always. Always, correct. So, I always play tennis. You see? So, in this case, I have it between the subject and the verb. And in this case, I have it at the end of the sentence. Both things talk about the frequency on how we do something, okay? La frecuencia en la que hacemos algo. But specifically, this is a phrase of frequency. And this one right here is an advert of frequency, okay? So same thing. Now, let's continue. For example, I have... She uh, okay. She sometimes visits her parents. Okay. She sometimes visits her parents. Now it is very important for you to pay attention to this. Here I have an advert of frequency. But because I'm talking about the present, simple present, okay, I need to add an S at the end of the verb, right? Because it's simple present. Siempre sigue siendo present in simple, right? So, lo agregué un adverbio de frecuencia. I just add an adverb of frequency and that's it. But I need to follow the same structure, okay? So, but if I wanted to say this, the same thing with a phrase of frequency, in this case, I can say like, she visits her parents. What can, wait, what can I say? Uh, every, every other week. 
Okay. Do you know what it means every other? No. Nope. So when you say every other, like every other day, every other week, every other year, means one week yes, one week no. One week yes, one week no. Okay? Like in Spanish, we will say una semana sí, una semana no. Right? So talking about it, because we're saying sometimes, so it means 50% of the time yes, 50% of the time no. Right? So in that case, I'm going to say every other week. So for example, if you say, I take a shower every other day. <laughs> Ustedes toman shower every other day. Un día sí, un día no se bañan. No importa, no. les digo. Porque aquí estamos, como estamos en virtual, no se siente. It's okay. So every other day. So every other means like one time yes, one time no. Every other day, one day yes, one day no. Every other week, one day. Week yes, one week no. Every other year, one year yes, one year no. Okay, that's how we use it. So, but what I wanted to tell you with this, it, the, the, besides adverse of frequency, like always, often, sometimes, we have phrases of frequency, okay? And now let me show you some phrases of frequency. For example, you can say every other, and then you can say year, year month, uh, week, whatever. We can say like this one, weekly, daily, no oh wait, daily, yearly, okay, monthly, right? Do you know what the um, suffix li means in the sense, in, in the word, li? Do you know what li means? No. Mente. Like weekly, semanal, mente. Daily, diaria, mente. Yearly, anualmente. Monthly, mensualmente. Right? So that's how we're, you're going to, like you will do it, okay? Now, we can say as well with every. Every day. I mean, every week, let's do it in the same order. Every week. Every day. Every year, every month. Do you know what every means? Cada. Exactly. So in this case, we're not saying like mente, we're saying cada, like every week, cada semana. Every day, cada día. Things like that, okay? So these are phrases that you can use. And these phrases for you to use are there like, um, frequency phrases okay uh phrases to talk about frequency and they go at the end of the sentence or at the beginning you can say every year i go to vacation okay every year i go to vacation instead of saying i always go to vacation right i so every year i go to vacation or i go to vacation every year you can go you can put it at the beginning of the sentence or at the end of the sentence but it's different with adverse of frequency, okay? That is just to clarify that part. Is that part clear? Or do you need me to explain again? Is that clear? No, it's clear. Good. Can okay. you put it again to oh, take a... Oh, you want a screenshot? Yes. Perfect, okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Now, yeah, I have access. Now, in the last class, we had a conversation about being fitness freak. Do you remember the conversation? Yes. Okay, so in that conversation, we had a, a, some phrases like how often, um, how good, and things like that. So our classmate, Maximiliano, told me to check so what is the number of the exercise, Maximiliano, that you want is, to write? Is 1.11. 1.11, okay. Let's go it. Let's do it, I mean. Okay. Uh, wait, here I have it, I think. Okay, here it is. So it says, complete the following questions. Guide yourself with the answers. Choose from how often, 
how well, how good, and how long. Okay. Let me give you like an example of each sentence, okay? How often is to talk about frequency, okay? So how often do you play volleyball? How often do you uh, go to work? How often do you go to vacation? How well means how good are you at doing something, okay? How well, how well. How good is very similar to how well, okay? Both of them. And then we have how long. Long is to talk about a period of time, okay? How long, for example, how long have you been learning English, right? In that case, I'm asking you, what is the time you have spent learning English? So now let's work on the examples here. So first we have at volleyball, it can be any of these, but the answer, the answer is gonna help me. So it's pretty, I guess, I pretty good. I often play, oh my God. Esto debería estar separado, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, this is a problem with the exercise. No problema con la plataforma. No, ¿para dónde me fui? Ah, oh. espera un momento. Esto se fue para otra cosa. Ah, oh. ok. Eso debería ser aquí on, separado. Y aquí debería decir am. Um. Ok, I'm pretty good. I often play on weekends. How good? How good? Are you? How good are you? Let me check. Déjame revisar. That is good. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Spend online. How about an hour after dinner? How long, right? How, How long? Yes. How long do you? How long do you spend online? Yeah. Yes, it's it's, it's good. Okay. okay. Because you can also say how much time do you spend online? But what time? How much time? It, it's also correct. Then we have play cards. Once how often? Months, how often? How often? Do you, right? Yes. How often do you play cards? Because we're talking about frequency. Then yes. we have the next one, type. Not very well, actually. How well, right? How well? Um, How well do you? Do you? Oh, sorry. How well do you type? Let's see. Oh. That's the problem. <laughs> okay, let me check it. Déjeme revisar qué fue el problema. How well can you? O sea, también podríamos utilizarlo con can you en lugar de do you? Like, puedes tú? Que también puedes tú? Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let's change this verb for can, okay? okay? How well can you type? And let's see now. You see, it's correct. Oh, well, there have so many problems with that question. <laughs> <laughs> I was struggling with this. <laughs> you were struggling with that one too? Yeah. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, now we got it, now we got it, okay? Okay, so we have, thanks. how good are you? How long do you? How often do you? And how well can you? Okay? Okay. Okay. Do you have any problems with any other exercise? No, yes, no. with the last teacher. Which one? Uh, so, I know it's about a picture. It's on a platform. Yeah, I don't know what is the exercise. I, I, oh, think I don't know. That part, I, I don't know why it's not tolerated because when you see it, you already have the 100% advance in the first two exercises. The last exercise is about you find how fit you are. So you have to yeah. be this, but it's not going to give you points. Uh... So that one is not, let me say, like it is not graded, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 That's good. Okay. Excellent. 
Yeah, I, I was looking at it too. Yo tampoco lo había visto, but yeah, it's weird. Okay, yes. perfect. Let's continue. <laughs> Let's continue. Just give me one tiny second. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I need you to do some activity. I think I have students that I didn't have yesterday. Let's see how many students are we. So you have we I have nine students. Excellent. But I don't see. Okay, so Juan Ramon, I think this is your first time. I didn't see you yesterday, right? Jose Ramon. Jose Ramon, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, yesterday uh, I had to go to work and uh, I don't know how to say uh, extra hours, I don't know. Ah, overtime. Overtime, that, that's the word. Yes, uh, so uh, I missed the class, and but I write, I write uh, to the... To the group, yeah, um, I saw your message. Yes, yes. Okay, So. Perfect. But right now I'm here. <laughs> excellent. Nice to meet you, Ramon. Nice to meet you too. Okay, excellent. And I think also Juan Carlos, this is your first time? Yes. Okay. It is because Wait. yesterday I was work too and over time. Oh, you were uh, working? Uh, in the plant, I, I can see my partner, Ramon. Oh, we, we, <laughs> so you work together, Ramon and you? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, perfect. And I think Marvin, did I see you yesterday? No, right, Marvin? Marvin Arnoldo? Marvin Arnoldo? Yes, teacher. This is your first time in my class? Yes. Oh, okay. So you were working yesterday? Did you work yesterday, Marvin? Um, no. No? But no estaba en casa. You were not at home. No, no estaba en casa. Oh, okay. Perfect. Understand. Well, nice to meet you, Marvin. Okay. Nice to meet you. But I think I don't have, I think I'm missing one person. I think Mari, what is her name? Mari. Mari Cruz. Mari Cruz. She's not here today. So Maricruz is the only one I'm missing, I think. Because I think you're like 10 in the group. Jose Araujo was here yesterday, but as oyente, right, Jose Araujo? Sí, estuve ayer oyente porque no pude estar este, con el teléfono así directamente conectado. Pero... Okay. Pero sí, hoy sí, ya estoy. Excellent. That's that's good, that's good, okay. Well, thank you for being here. Welcome to the class once again, everybody. Um, like I said yesterday, but I'm gonna do it again. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas, but I go by Diana Sayas. So I'm gonna be your teacher for this course since yesterday I have been teaching this class. And uh, we're gonna have today and tomorrow, no, I mean yesterday and today. And then I think we have, uh, let me check here. At the next class we have is November 1st. Wednesday and Thursday and Friday next week, right? But yeah, yes. November the 1st and November the 3rd. Because as you know, the second is a day off because it's a national holiday, yeah? So let's continue now. As you know, we have to finish the platform unit one and two. Right. Yeah, we have to finish two sections. Okay. Uh, let me check here the exercise that I need you to do. So this exercise is pretty easy to do. Let me show you. So I'm going to send you the link. Y han trabajado en esta plataforma. Es... No. Worksheets. Aquí trabajan y les da una nota. It gives you a grade. Les voy a enviar el link. 
Alguien que pueda compartir pantalla, comparte la pantalla en el grupo donde van a estar y lo van completando juntos. So it says, rewrite the sentences. So reescribir the sentences using the adverbs of frequency in the correct positions. For example, Juan is late for breakfast. The advert is always. So, Juan. Oh, um, the, I didn't explain this to you. Esto ya lo han explicado, creo, en los módulos más básicos, pero lo voy a volver a explicar. Este, cuando usamos los adverbios de frecuencia y los usamos con cualquier otro verbo, el adverbio va en medio del sujeto y el verbo, ¿verdad? Pero cuando los usamos con el verbo to be, el adverbio de frecuencia sí va después del verbo. ¿Ya sabían eso? No. ¿No? Vale, les voy a explicar para que no vayan a tener problemas. Vale. So usually, like this, I always go to work. I never drink, I don't know, soda. In this case, the verbs are go and drink, right? That's the reason why I need to put the adverb between the subject and the verb, right? right? But if I have the verb to be, I have to do it like this. I am always early to work. So yo siempre llego temprano al trabajo. ¿verdad? Siempre, yo siempre estoy temprano en el trabajo. So in this case, the verb is a verb to be. This is an exception. It doesn't go like this. So it's not I always am. I always am. No. With the verb to be, you're going to write subject, verb, and then the advert of frequency. You got no. it? Yes. Got it. Okay. Let's do another example just to be clear. She is never angry. Ella nunca está enojada, right? She's never angry. So again, The verb to be tells me that the adverb goes after it. Yeah? Before the verb, after the verb. Yes? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Yes. So following that rule, we're going to work in these exercises. For example, in this case, I have is, right? Is. So, in this case, I'm going to write the verb to be. One is. And then the adverb. What is the adverb? Always. Correct. One is always late for breakfast. Breakfast. Okay. So, you are going to do the same activity with all the 12 sentences. Okay. When you finish, pay attention to this, please. When you finish, you're going to click on finished. And then you're going to click here in the first one. No, in this one. Mm -mm, no, this one. Check my answers. Check my answers. You're going to click there. And it's going to give you a grade. Why? Why is it incorrect? Porque no le puse el punto al final. Está incorrecta. Oh, my God. Yo dándoles el ejemplo y haciéndolo mal. Let me check. Vamos a ver por qué me parece incorrecto. Si es porque tiene que llevar el period at the end. Text file element. Adverse of frequency. Creo que no pondera esta actividad. Uh, one, wait a minute, okay. One is always late for breakfast period check my answers les tendría que aparecer en verde pero no les va a aparecer en verde igual yo le voy a llegar a revisar las oraciones cuando ya terminen ok and I want to okay. tell you if they are correct or incorrect ahí les envío el link can you see the link ya lo vieron ya yeah. yes. Preferiblemente yeah. alguien que esté en computadora comparte pantalla, please, ¿ok? Ok. 
Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Ahí está la invitación, Juan Carlos, para que pueda ingresar. There you have the invite. Perfect. Hello, ya puedo compartir pantalla. Hello, ¿quién va a compartir la pantalla? José, Carlos, José Ramón, Marvin. Eh, I don't have a cell phone teacher. Ok. I don't have a computer. ¿Quién puede compartir pantalla? Solo tienen que dar clic en el verdecito ahí para compartir pantalla. Creo que nadie tiene el link, teacher. Oh, ok. Y hubiéramos empezado por ahí. <ríe> ahí está, there you go. The right. number two is uh, Helen goes often. I'm trying to share my. Okay, Helen often goes fishing with her friend. Helen, uh -huh, yes. Helen often finishes go goes fishing. Goes fishing. Goes fishing. With her friend. Yes. Robert, Juan Carlos. Yes. I think, yes, it is. Helen goes. Helen often goes fishing with her friends. En vete frecuencia. Entonces sería Juan is always late for Juan breakfast. Pues. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Así lo puse de ella, pero lo haciendo malo es. Breakfast. Ya, yeah, yo la voy a revisar porque aquí parece como que todos estuvieron malas, pero yo la voy a venir a revisar, ¿ok? okay. No, está bien. Ponle el punto. Sí. Bueno, pero aquí.
swimming alone. Good. Yes. William okay. never goes swimming alone. Yes. Is correct for me. It's good. That's the correct answer. Ay, qué curioso. Una sí se las tomó correcta. It's funny. <laughs> well, let's check. Juan is always late for breakfast. Yeah. Helen goes fishing with her friend. David is rarely on time. Yeah. My sister never does her math homework. Yeah. Uh, my grandparents seldom. Yeah. Susan usually celebrates. Tourists sometimes see. Yeah. My name. Course. Usually are. Are usually. Are usually. Yeah, because it's verb to be. Okay. So the verb okay. first and the adverb. Yeah, ella no le va a dejar modificarlo. Pero lo podemos modificar encima. Déjame ver. Let me see. Ahora vamos a poner el cuadrito por acá. Let me check. Neighbors. Always. Oh, usually, yes, ¿verdad? Perdón. Yes. My neighbors are usually. Usually. No se ve. Yeah. Well, anyways. Um, William never goes swimming. Yeah. Are your children always happy? Yeah. So and Joshua often, yep. Does even often lie to you? Yeah, good job. Excellent, you guys. Thanks, teacher. Good job. And Joshua. You finished? Sure. Uh, only two more. Okay, okay. Yes. Only two, only two. Okay. Yes. Sue and Joshua visit their cousin.
Okay, so we finished that activity. Now we're gonna check the answers, okay? Let me see. <coughs> Let's check number, well, number one, ya lo habíamos hecho, so it was one is all, wait. Okay, one is always late for breakfast. Okay, let's go with the next one. Uh, can you help me, please, Kevin? Arnoldo? ¿Cómo? Uh, ¿Cómo quedaría esta? How, how is this one? Number two. Uh, yeah. Helen often goes finish with her friend. Fishing. Fish. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Can you choose the next participant, please? Kevin, can you choose the next participant, please? Rocio. Okay, Rocio, number three. Okay. David is rarely on time. David is rarely on time. Excellent. Rocío, can you choose the next part? Pero me salió mal. <laughs> y así tal cual la puse. Sí, pero es que no sé por qué da problemas. Estaba dando problemas ahí. Ok, choose the next okay. part, please. Um, I see. Juan Carlos. Ok. Juan Carlos, tell me the answer for number four, please. My sister does never her much homework. My sister? Does never her much homework. Are you sure? Um, yes. Never primero? My sister never does. Okay. Her math homework, okay. Choose the next participant, please. Um, let me. Ramon. Ramon, okay. Ramon, number five, please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. My grandparents seldom go out at night. Okay, excellent. Choose the next participant, please, Ramon. Max. Oh, Maximiliano, okay. Yes. At a hotel. Okay, can you repeat it? Susan uh -huh. usually celebrate her mother's birthday at a hotel. Wait. ¿Dónde está la apostrofe aquí? Oh my God. Alt Alter y nine. Alter y nine? Yes. No. No me la vaya a pagar. Y yo, yo confía de él. Me acuerdo en la pandemia, algunos niños apagaban las computadoras con unos códigos y los maestros bien. Ahí sabe, ahí está. Ok, choose the next participant, please. Eh, Roberto. Roberto. Do we have a Roberto? Hey, Maximiliano, thanks. <laughs> Tourists sometimes see wolves in the ocean. Whales. Do you know what is a whale? Whales. Ballena. Whales. Right. Como la ruta. Okay. 
Okay, let's go with the next one. Can you choose the next participant, please? Kevin. Kevin. Kevin Arnoldo. Acaba de okay. participar primero, creo. Pero, yes. Yes. Eh, ¿Quién falta? Falta José Araujo, Carlos Enrique, Marvin, creo que Arnoldo. Eh, creo que ellos. Sí, van a volver a pasar otros. Eh, pasado. Teacher, let me try. Carlos Enrique, you want to try? Yes. Ok, bueno, Car eh, Roberto dice Carlos que él va a participar. Ok. Ok. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go, Carlos. My neighbors are usually away on the weekends. My neighbors are usually away on the weekends. Excellent. Good job, Carlos. Can you choose the next participant, please? Mm. Let me see, teacher. Rocio. Oh, Rocio, ya pasó. So we are only mm. left Marvin. Marvin. Marvin and Jose. Yeah. Oh. Okay, Marvin. Marvin, Marvin. Oh, you go. Thank you. Uh, William never goes swimming alone. Swimming, swimming. Swimming. Swimming alone. Okay, excellent. Can you choose the next participant, please, Marvin? Obviously, we have <laughs> only Jose. Jose Araujo, your turn. Jose Araujo. <laughs> Are your children always happy to school? Are your children always happy to go to school? Always happy to go to school. Okay, excellent. Choose, well, ahora puede elegir cualquiera. You can choose anyone. Jose. Okay. ¿Quién oh, va a Kevin, Ok, Kevin, bueno, ni modo, Kevin, que ha solicitado. Uh, Sue and Joshua often visit their cousins. Often visit their cousins, ok. Can you choose the next participant, please? Rocío. Well, Rocío, también solicitada, también usted. Okay. The, does Steve often lie to you? Does Steve often lie to you? Often lie to you. Okay. No sé por qué. I don't know what is the mistake here. Nos está dando problema a la hora de, de calificarlo, ¿verdad? Let me check. Yes, no, <laughs> That's the only one we have good to. Yeah, I don't know what is it. Well, as <laughs> well, well, yeah. Sometimes that things happens. Okay, you guys, let's go here with a conversation we have, and we're gonna practice this conversation. We're in the section number two already. Hi to all, welcome to section seven. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A.
Do you go anywhere? Okay, so if you can see, we have here a conversation. And in this conversation, we have many verbs in the past, right? Ya, ya, ya aprendieron sobre el pasado, ¿verdad? Did you learn about the simple past in English? Yes. Um, yes. So if you can see this conversation, we have many things about the past. So we're going to practice this conversation and then we're going to do like a review. Vamos a hacer un review. We're going to do a review about the simple past. Simple past with the regular verbs, simple, simple past with irregular verbs, and also simple past with the verb to be. Okay. So let me read this for you. Remember, we need to have intonation. Okay. Intonation is very important. Para que no nos escuchemos todos roboticos. Para que no digamos, so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? No, right? You need to do. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Um, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed at home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about it. Don't worry, you always get an A. All about it, dije, it's all about that, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're going to practice this conversation. Remember, mientras más practiquemos, mejor nuestra pronunciación. Ya vamos a practicar el tongue twister de nuevo. Did you practice the tongue twister? Yeah? What is that? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Tongue twister. ¿Saben qué es un tongue twister? No. Yes. Traba lengua. Yeah, estamos practicando traba lengua para entrenar nuestra pronunciación. We're training the pronunciation. Ya le vamos a enseñar. Ice cream, just cream, we all cream. Or ice cream. Yes. Excellent. Good job. No, veo que sí han estado practicando. Oh my God. Okay. All night in my mind. In your mind. Okay. Well, remember, les dije, hay que hacerlo también así porque si no, este, como ir al gym y yo me imagino que hago ejercicio. Okay. Let's go. Ahí está la invitación. You have the invites.
I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to look it? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today in Spanish test. For Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, so let's change partners again. Now I'm gonna go with Rocio and Juan Carlos and Carlos are gonna be partners. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar in San with Tom, friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place, Dorant. How about you? Did you, did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, Spanish. ¿Qué va a ser Meg? Dale, Oye, yo, yo, dale, dale. dale. Oh. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and some with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just played. I just stayed home. And I study for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Okay, so we're back. Let's see. The participant that I choose is Marvin. I don't know if I 
and you choose your partner. You still have a companion. Araujo. Okay. Okay. Comience. Okay. So. So. Mm -hmm. So, what did you do last weekend, man? Oh, I had a great thing. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That song like fun? Did you did you go to Lucas? No, we didn't. We went to that new place, Toto. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere. All weekend, I just stayed home and studying for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about you, about that. Don't worry, you always get up, eh? Okay, excellent. Good job. Demos un aplauso. Excellent. Thank you very much for the participation. Vamos a corregir siempre un par de cositas, ¿verdad? Siempre tenemos que... This is time, time, Saturday time. or Saturday, but Saturday. Okay. Sounds, 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 to, not to, ¿verdad? To. Oh. Downtown, downtown. 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 Studied, studied, con di al final, studied. Studied. No, studied, no, studied. Como conté, la E se omite, studied. Como que tuviéramos una D al final, ¿verdad? Y omitimos la studied. E. Studied. 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 About. 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 Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Vamos a ir ahora con Juan Carlos. And you choose your partner. Y elija su compañero, please. Okay, Max. Okay, Max, you have been chosen by Juan. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lockheed? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today. I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Excellent. Good job. Applause for the classmates. Good job. Excellent. Vamos a ver aquí. Corregir solo para unos versitos. Just, ¿verdad? Just. Just eat yes. today's. Con ese al final. Today. Today's. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Good job. Vamos con el último participant va a ser Rocío, claro que sí, la, la, la señorita que tenemos aquí y que elija un partner. ¿A quién va a elegir Rocío? Mr. Okay, um, Kevin. Ok, Mr. Kevin. Ok. Ok, go ahead. ¿Qué piensa usted, Kevin? Dice. Um, so what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and started for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Give them an applause. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Solo corregimos un par de errorcitos. Karaoke. Solo esta palabra. Karaoke. Karaoke. Okay. Karaoke. Excellent, good. So now we're talking about the simple past, right? That's what we're doing, simple past. And in the simple past, dice aquí que tenemos 10 participantes, okay? 
pero falta Mari, ¿cómo era? Mari, 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 Mari. Maricruz. Maricruz. Maricruz, Mari Carmen, dice en mi mente, pero no es Maricruz, es Maricruz, Cruz, Cruz. Ya me lo voy a grabar. Maricruz. Nos falta ella. Bien, vamos a hablar un poquito about the past. Ok, pero antes de hablar de the past, voy a enseñarles formas de decir algo en English. Ustedes have, saben, how do you say, es pan comido o está bien chicha el buen salvadoreño, mm. in English. It's okay. It's a piece of cake. It's a piece of cake. So you say piece of cake. That means something is very easy. And why am I sharing this with you? Porque les comparto esto. Porque it's important, es muy importante, poder usar slangs, ok, como palabras fáciles en el inglés, eh, son armas naturales en lugar de decir, it's easy, you say, it's a piece of cake, right? That sounds more natural. Vamos a hacer una práctica un momentito, solo un ratito, vamos a hacer la práctica del ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ice cream, juice cream, well cream for ice cream, ok? Y todos en el grupo tenemos que hacerlo, todos, everybody in the group has to do it. Para los que no vinieron ayer, este, estamos haciendo una práctica como un entrenamiento, ¿verdad? Como ir al gym y entrenar músculos, vamos a tener los músculos que tenemos para hablar. Right? Los músculos que se encuentran en nuestra boca y también las cuerdas vocales para poder hablar un inglés bien o una buena pronunciación. Así que, ¿cómo lo vamos a hacer? Con tongue twisters, right? So, for example, here we have ice cream. He used cream. We all scream for ice cream. Ice cream. You scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we'll scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And what are we practicing in this uh, tongue twister? We are practicing the pronunciation of letter S at the beginning of words. For example, let me show you how. Many people when they want to speak in English, they make a mistake. And this is the mistake. For example, when saying these words, school, say, scream, sorry, scream, story. Okay, so what is the mistake? So many people, when they are speaking in English, they want to add an A, an E, at the beginning of this, the, the word. For example, they say, school, stay, scream, story. That is incorrect, okay? That is incorrect. So what you have to say is the sound of the letter S, okay? The sound of the letter S, just the letter S. Let's do examples. School, stay, scream, story. You see, there's a different a school incorrect. School correct. Stay, scream, story. School stay, scream, story. So that is a difference there. We don't say a scream. No, we say scream, scream. Okay. This is an error muy común. El decir a school, a school. No, even though porque es un error grandísimo. For example, si yo añado esa e. E at the beginning, it's como que estuviera diciendo más sílabas. So, like I'm saying more syllables. For example, if I say es cool, how many syllables can? Si yo digo es cool, es cool, how many syllables? Two. Two. But school only has one syllable. School, school, just one sound. School. If I say es stay, two syllables. But stay is only one syllable. Stay, stay. Yeah. Okay, so that's why we're practicing that. Then, the other thing that we're practicing is the pronunciation of the letter. R. Correct. So when we say the letter R, it goes up. R. The tongue goes up. So for example, it's incorrect to say car. No. Car. Car. Up. The tongue goes up. Car. Right? Say story, re, re, re. no story, story, story. Okay, that's something we are going to do. 
practicing with this tongue twister, lo estamos practicando. Okay, we're practicing that with this tongue twister. So I'm gonna send you to the breaker rooms to practice this tongue twister. Try to say it 10 times in a row, and this time, time yourselves. Y esta vez, tómense el tiempo. Okay, ¿cuánto me tardo? How long does it take? How long? How long? Okay, so how long? And you take the time. Vamos a tomar el tiempo. A ver quién lo dice en el menor tiempo. Who takes less time to say the tongue twister? Okay, let's see. Okay. Si no vino a la clase pasada, pues los que de la clase eh, que estuvieron le pueden ayudar, ¿verdad? Okay, let's go. There you go. Ice cream juice with ice cream for ice cream. Ice cream juice cream with ice cream for ice cream. Ice cream juice cream with ice cream for ice cream. 
ice cream, juice cream, with ice cream, or ice cream. Okay, what's that out? I'm just here, ahí, ahí. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Everyone. So that we have that. I'm gonna copy ten this. times. Ten times in a row. Yes. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice. Okay, so who wants to participate? Who thinks is ready for this? Are you ready? Let's see. Maximiliano, you ready? Good, let's do it. Okay. Are you gonna take the time? Yeah, I'm gonna take the time. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Ok. When you're ready. Cuando esté listo, yo empiezo a tomarlo cuando yo le escuche la primera palabra. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. <laughs> oh my goodness. That was good. Excellent. Give it to him an applause. Let's Thanks. see. Thanks. Excellent. Good job. Bien. Okay. Mire, yo le tomé el tiempo solo de una vez. I took you one time. No el de las 10 veces, sino que el de solo una vez para que vea cuánto se tarda. No sé si se puede ver, pero mire, solo one second with 83 milliseconds. So not even two seconds. My God. Okay, excellent. Good job. 
Very good. Okay, who's next? Can I? Yeah, you can, absolutely can. Okay. Ice cream, juice cream, we'll all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Juice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Juice cream, you ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream. We all all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream. We all cream for ice cream ice cream juice cream we all cream for ice cream oh my god how I'm, many I'm, times okay it's it's I'm okay so... it's good. no 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 it's okay it's okay this is the first time you're practicing so it's okay don't worry don't worry it's okay you did good and also um juan carlos me escucha como que se trabó el internet si verdad yeah it's frozen Bueno, pero miren, this was his time. Two seconds and 74 milliseconds. So actually he did less than three minutes, right? Less than three minutes. Okay, good job. Okay, one more person, one more participant. Can I choose who's the next victim? You want to <laughs> choose the next victim? Yes. Okay, choose... I choose Carlos. Carlos Enrique. You have been chosen, Carlos. Yes, teacher, yes. Okay, whenever you're ready. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, juice cream, we all scream for ice cream. Excellent. Oh my God. Let's give her an applause. Well deserved. Bien merecido. Well deserved. Look at this. 160. Not even two seconds. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Okay, so you keep on practicing those things and you're going to improve your pronunciation. We're going to see a little bit more, like some more tongue twisters later. Okay. But right now, let's start with just that one. Okay. Now, I'm going to go here with the next topic we have because the next topic we have is the past. Okay. We're gonna talk a little bit about the past in English. So we have this, that is the simple past. Well, I think you already know many things about the simple past because it's an easy topic and topic you have studied before. But, um, okay, so the simple past is a verb tense that is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. So with the simple past, we talk about things that existed in the past, right? For example, let me share. We have two types of past. We have the simple past with regular verbs, and we have the simple past with irregular verbs. So obviously what we need when we are talking about the past is this. First subject, verb in the past, and then you need a complement. Okay, for example, you say, I studied last night. Okay. I went to the park yesterday. She played soccer last week. 
they Let me see another birthday work that I played it yesterday. They 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 sorry stood up in the concert. Okay. So as you can see here, we obviously have the verbs in the past. This is the verb, this is the verb, this is the verb, and this is the verb. But what is the difference is some verbs, the regular verbs, they have rules with the ED, okay? But we also have regular, irregular verbs. The irregular verbs, they change all the structure, cambian su estructura, okay? So with the ED, lo único que tenemos que agregar is the ED, right? With the verb. And then with the other verbs, the whole the structure changes. Now, in English, we have three forms for the verb. Tenemos tres formas para el verb. Yes? Present, past, y has participle. Okay? So we have the present, we have the past, and we have the past participle. The present is to talk about things that we do repeat, like we do like a routine. The past is to talk about activities that finished already. And the present continuous is to talk about experiences. So I have traveled, I have bought, I have seen all those things, okay? This is for the affirmative form. Now let's practice a little bit with the negative form. The negative form is even easier because we have subject and then we have the auxiliary didn't, okay? You can use the auxiliary didn't or you can use did not, okay, the same thing. Then you add the verb, but ahora ya no, the verb is not in the past anymore. Because the auxiliary is time paste past I me. Mean, it's already in the past tense. And then we need a complement. Okay. So obviously it's gonna be like this. I didn't study last night. You see? Next. I didn't. What is the present for went? What is the present form for went? Go. Go, right? So in this case will be, I didn't go to the park yesterday. Sorry. Next. She didn't play soccer last week and the last one háganlo ustedes si me lo mandan al chat do it yourself and send it to the chat como quedaría el último send it to the chat please ok let's go Sí, pues acá al chat de Zoom. I'm sorry, Zoom chat. And send it privately. Lo envían en privado. Que solo diga inglés corporativo. Only to inglés corporativo. Okay, send only to inglés corporativo.
¿Cómo quedaría el último? ¿Cómo quedaría el último? Nadie me lo está mandando. Send it to the chat. Zoom chat. Y dice stood up. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a stay. Es el stand o el yeah, yeah. get One. stand. No, de ahí stand. tienen stand, stand. Yeah, Porque es como de levantarse. Yeah, it's a stand. They stand up in the course. They didn't stand. They didn't stand. Stand up. They didn't stand up at the concert. Como, como se pusieron de pie, algo así o? They, yeah. Mm -hmm. No se pusieron de pie. And yeah, the, the negative way will be that one. No. Right. Okay, so the correct form, ya varios lo mandaron, is they didn't stand up. I'm sorry. In the concert. Okay. They didn't stand up in the concert. So this is simple past. Easy way to talk about the past. And I know you already know about the past. Yo sé que ya saben cómo manejar el pasado en inglés, right? I know you already know. So now, talking about that. We're gonna make two questions. The first one is, what did you do yesterday? And the next one will be, what did you do last? No, let's say, what did you do the last days of? Hicieron sus últimos días libres. No les digo weekend porque no puede ser que no tuvieron libres, ¿verdad? Ok. So, for example, what did you do yesterday? Si hablara yo de mí, diría, yesterday I went to work, then I came back home, I had my lunch, I rest for a little bit, then I had my class with you, then I went to the supermarket at night, And then I came home again. Okay, that was my day yesterday. And I'm using the verbs in the past. Yes? Okay, so what are you going to do? Estas dos preguntas son las que vamos a ir a hacer a los vehicle rooms, okay? So these are the two questions we're going to be practicing in the breaker rooms. Let me send you the link. I mean, the, the questions. The thing and the objective, like, like the main objective of, of this um, activity, Is for you to speak in the past, okay? I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna wait a moment. Okay, there you go. So you can practice.
Okay, well. Give me phone. On my days off. What did you do the last days off? The For last example. days off. Mm, I in my days off every 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 day or mm, I go to the supermarket so, to buy groceries, past. beers, meat, <laughs> the past. chicken. <laughs> You and other uh, vegetables. The last day. I went to... a comprar, no. Yes, I went to buy. Mm -hmm. Other new to be smart and my life last day of. I went to buy other new to be smart in my smart last day. day. Yes, new. I other new understand. to be smart. <laughs> Voy a comprar otro televisor. Ah, uh, other phone, other. Other TV smart. Oh, TV otro smart. Otro Smart TV. Smart TV, okay. Smart TV. <laughs> I went to buy other new smart TV in my last day of. Uh, um, I don't know. You mean? Uh, Robert Lemus, what did you I do yesterday? This day. I stay in my I home. Did. I didn't, no, I didn't, no pueden haber, y la, la teacher no está por ahí. <laughs> bien, no, gracias. Bien. Bien. Ay, bien, ahí está. ¿Mis? No, que yo tengo entendido que no pueden haber dos negaciones en una oración. Ajá. No, no. O sea, por ejemplo, dígame. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, I didn't nothing. I didn't. No decir, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't nothing. I didn't, I didn't do, do I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything, pero no puedo usar tus negaciones. Porque anything es una negación, nada, no va. Bien. Pero ahí está bien. I didn't do anything. Sí. No, no hice nada. O I did, I did nothing, más simple. I did nothing. Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, más simple. Yeah, y más correcto. Uh -huh. Suena bastante bien. You, you not sleep? In the night? Yes. Mm, uh, so? Me costó. I slept. I slept. Sleep or I slept? slept or... On my bed. <laughs> I'm walking on the suelo, on the floor. <laughs> uh,
Okay, so let's see. The group number one, they don't want to leave today. Okay. We're waiting for the group number one. Carlos, Jose, Marvin, Maximiliano. We're waiting for them. Okay. Because they are not coming. Well, they only have four, three, two, one. They're coming back. Yes. Okay. Okay, you guys. So it's five already. So it seems like I'm going to see you again on next Wednesday. Okay. So we'll see you again next Wednesday. Have a good week. And yeah, practice English. Don't forget to practice the tongue twister. Okay. Okay, of course. See you next okay. Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Bye, teacher. Bye, take care. Bye bye, teacher. Bye bye. Take care.